very important thing to understand when you're working with medical image processing and specifically with 3D imaging is what is the difference between surface rendering and volume rendering. Well, so surface rendering is basically performing a segmentation and then making a 3D model out of it. This 3D model is a mesh that you are able to export into STL file and you're able to, for example, 3D print. This is surface rendering. But there is another way to visualize your 3D data, your CT scans, your MRI scans. I'm going to hide this segmented liver for now. In 3D Slicer, you will find a module called Volume Rendering. When you go to, module, to Volume Rendering and you click this little eye icon in top left next to your volume, it will render the image and you might be surprised, wow, it's pretty cl close to what we've done before. Uh, in this section on the left hand side, you can choose the preset, you can choose the one that's most interesting to you, you can modify it a little bit and have the satisfying result. And you might be surprised because, well, you can see the aorta and uh, it took you probably two seconds to see that. Well, yes, but this is not a mesh and this is not exportable and this is not 3D printable right now. We don't have uh, software, there are no algorithms to make a 3D model on, or to 3D print straight out of the volume rendering. It's of, often used by radiologists to give a quick preview because it's very easy to make a screenshot of your aneurysm by just making a volume rendering. You, you just uh, choose preset that you're interested in. You can even clip this image by enabling the crop option and you can, as I'm doing right now, you can limit the volume rendering to whatever area you're interested in. And, well, you can make a screenshot and send it to your surgeon. And in many cases, it will be satisfactory. But again, this is not a mesh, and that means it is not 3D printable. If you want to make a quick screen screenshot for your clinician, then you can go with volume rendering. It will be very quick. If you want to make segmentation, if you want to 3D print a model, if you want to calculate the volume, you have to go through segmentation and to surface rendering.